Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Sharnies and welcome back to Simply Nikla. So today I decided to do a nail tutorial based off of a old, old technique that we all enjoyed and loved. If you were really into nails, you remember those like newspaper nails or you have the comic book strip design on your nails, right? So I remember doing that and I seen that 5 Minute Crafts did that again and it's like really opaque and looking good so I just had to see if this cool trend that we all loved back then that is still something cool to do today and it's just another fun nail tutorial so if you want to enjoy the ride and continue watching go ahead and sit back and relax and if you haven't already and you're new here go down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel and also give this video a like if you're new or old and uh, yeah let's go get started with this video <laughs> These nails are pretty easy and it will go by quick if you do this yourself. So to start with the base coat for these nails, I decided to do a little something different on two of the nails. But on the middle finger, ring finger, and the thumb are going to get two coats of white. That's where the comic book strip look is going to be on them. So make sure there's two coats of that. And so the white that I used was from LA Colors Quick Color. And it's their fast drying one. And it's called Spark. And then on the index finger and the pinky, I'm going to apply two coats of black because I wanted to so do something different on other nails. And so I applied LA Colors Color Craze Circuits on those two and make sure there's two coats. To apply the common newspaper method onto the nails, you got to make sure the nails are really dry, the paint is really dry. So I am going to let the white dry even though it's the fast drying white from the LA Colors. I still want that white to be really dry before I apply that newspaper onto the nails so nothing will smudge. So I'm going to go ahead and hop and do whatever I'm going to do to the index finger and the pinky. So on the index finger and pinky, I just decided to do an old little technique that I used to do on my nails and um, especially in older videos you see just going to apply some diamond nail beads jewels onto the perimeter of the nails on the index finger and the pinky so on the index finger I used like a deep pink as you see here and I spaced them out around the nail and I did that same thing on the pinky but I used a nice aqua blue color Dark waves, uh And then in between each spaces on the index finger and the pinky, I applied a tinier diamond, clear diamond jewel in between the colored diamonds on both of the fingernails. <laughs> I was happy with that you want to make sure to uh, you know seal the diamonds in so I just applied a matte top coat which I used LA Colors nail treatment matte top coat and I just applied it in the middle of the diamonds to make sure the diamonds have that shine but I want that middle part of my nail to be matte by the time you get done with placing all the jewels and everything, the white nails should be dry enough to apply the comic book newspaper effect on the nails. So with this wonderful newspaper I got, I went to the comic section and I found a comic book strip that I wanted to put on my nails. You can do any comic book strip or any comic on that newspaper, whatever, but I did this one. So I clipped pictures that I wanted to apply on the nail off of that comic strip in the newspaper and I wanted to make a collage of the comics onto each nail. So the middle finger, ring finger, and the thumb are getting this look, this effect on them. So I had six pictures but two for each. Or if you don't want to do that you can just apply just one picture on each nail. So in a like little cup, so I put some of that rubbing alcohol into that cup and I had some tweezers and then I just did one finger at a time. So I applied the two 
pictures that I'm going to put on one finger. I started with the thumb and I put it in the rubbing alcohol and then let it soak in there for a little bit. And then I took the, the picture out with the tweezers and then just really carefully applied it onto the nail and then press onto the nail and really make sure to really rub the picture into the nail so that newspaper ink just comes off onto the nail. And once you pull it away, it should leave this cool image on there. And sometimes it did on my nails and sometimes it didn't. Or sometimes it's opaque and sometimes not really opaque. And I think the effect still looks really cool, but it's not opaque on my nails. But I think it really looks cool and different. So I did that for the thumb, middle finger, and the ring finger. And did that same process over and over again until I finished. After I applied that comic strip newspaper onto each of the nails so they're all on the nails now and I just felt like each nail needed a little bit something I don't know it's missing something so I applied a little bit around the pictures on the nail that parts are still white I applied this glitter this wonderful beautiful glitter that I got is from salon perfect and it's called she's a star and I make sure there's hardly nothing on the brush but just a little bit of that glitter and I applied it around certain areas on each of those nails as well just for a little bit some some at this point you can go ahead and apply a matte top coat onto the newspaper comic nails to make that newspaper effect but I just wanted to apply a nice glossy top coat so I applied my favorite top coat which is the Profix Swift Dry High Gloss top coat and I apply that onto the white nails since the two index finger and the pinky are already ready to go and so that is it with this comic newspaper strip nail effect that I did for this video today. Did you really like them? Did you like them? Did you ever do them yourself back then? I don't know. I really loved doing it back then. I think it's still really cool. It's not very opaque, but I still think it's really cool. And something really easy to do on your nails if you want just an easy little nail manicure if you want to do it yourself. So I really enjoyed doing this process. It brings me back in memories and I just... I think it still looks cool. It could be better, but I think it still looks cool. So thank you so much for watching. And if you liked this video and liked this trend back then, and if you liked this trend now, go down below and give me a like. Give this video a like, please. And if you haven't already and you're new here, like I said, go down below and subscribe. Why are you down there liking it? So thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you back next week with a wonderful video. Bye.